Hey everyone, I'm Katie and this is South Island Kitchen. I have a whole bunch of my favorite recipes that I want to share with you, so I hope you'll stick around. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you a little twist on a recipe that I've already shared with you and I will share a link to that other recipe that I'm talking about at the end of this video. But anyway, I'm going to show you a twist on my sweet pork recipe. We're going to use it in a little bit different way tonight. We're not going to do the sweet pork stacked enchiladas. We're going to do more of like a sweet pork Hawaiian meat blanket. I know that sounds kind of weird, but anyway, it's really good. I think you're going to like it. I'm going to start off by showing you what you need for the very first part of this recipe, which is the pork that we're going to put into the crock pot. So I have a three pound uh, boneless pork sirloin roast, some Dr. Pepper, a quarter cup of water and some anti nonos everything seasoning. And if you don't have this, you can find it online or you can just use salt, pepper and garlic powder. I've got my crock pot liner in the crock pot here. And I'm going to just take my boneless pork sirloin roast and place them right here in the bottom of the crock pot. You can sear these first in a frying pan if you want, but um, I'm actually headed out the door soon to go to the hardware store, so I don't have time to be searing things. I'm just gonna put it in there and call it good. Okay, we're gonna do one cup of Dr. Pepper. Just pour that all over the pork. And a quarter cup of water. And then we're gonna season it with our anti no nos Just all over the top of the pork there. And then we'll put the lid on and I'm gonna set it for about five hours on low. And then I'm gonna check on it and see if it's doing well or if I need to boost it up to high, but that should be good. And then I'll meet you back here later and show you how to put together the sauce. And we'll add that to the pork after it's been about five hours. So the pork is done. I'm gonna go ahead and shred that and drain out all the juices from the crock pot. And then I'm gonna put the shredded meat back into the crock pot. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our special sauce that we're going to then pour on the shredded pork. So we're gonna do one cup of Dr. Pepper into the blender. Eight ounces of red enchilada sauce. I've got mild. four ounce can of diced green chilies, and one cup of brown sugar. We're gonna put the lid on and blend that up. Now that our sauce is made, I set that aside and we're going to slice up a red bell pepper just into like small chunks. Before we add our sauce that we made in the blender back to our shredded pork, I'm gonna heat it up here in this pan so that it's really hot. Um, you can also add it to the crock pot earlier in the day uh, once the pork is done cooking and you can stir it around and let it cook for a couple hours. But I don't have a couple hours tonight to spare so I'm doing it the quick way and I'm just heating it up in this pan to make it go a little quicker. But right now what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of olive oil into the pan here and I'm going to saute this red bell pepper that we cut up. And once they're nice and soft, that's when I'm gonna add my sauce over here. Okay, the red bell peppers are soft and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sauce. We're gonna heat this up over medium high until it's really hot and has thickened just a little bit. And we're gonna add in our 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. Make sure you drain it first. Stir that around. I'm gonna put a lid on that until it comes to a gentle simmer. And while we're waiting for this to come to a simmer, I've got two cups of water heating up over here for our white rice. Okay, now that our sauce is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the crock pot here. 
And remember, I did drain out all the liquid that it cooked in from earlier today. I drained that all out and just put the shredded pork back in here. We'll go ahead and stir that around. Then I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna let this sit for just about 30 minutes is all. Well. 